Three years ago, the image of a bird believed to be extinct was apparently caught on video. The four-second clip of what appears to be an ivory-billed woodpecker has launched one of the most sophisticated wildlife searches in history. Well, welcome to St. Charles, Arkansas, and the uh, ivory-billed woodpecker search, the great search. You know, as I'm sure you're aware, at this point, this is uh, an unprecedented effort. In January, a dozen volunteers came to look for the woodpecker, one of the rarest birds in the world. They were the first group of 70 volunteers selected for the year-long project. The bird has become a new icon here in southeastern Arkansas. A $10,000 reward for more evidence of another sighting has resulted in a rash of mistaken reports. I talk to people pretty much on a daily basis, and what I found out is that we have a whole lot of ivory bill woodpeckers in backyards. But this habitat covers more than half a million forested acres in eastern Arkansas, where volunteers are trying for more than a glimpse of the secretive bird. How, do you guys, is there anyone who hasn't found the switch to switch it from video to still? Volunteers use cameras that take stills, video, and sound recordings. They also have GPS devices, cell phones, and powerful binoculars to find the bird and pinpoint its location. It's a big, big smart woodpecker, and they could easily do this if there was enough food in there. To find the ivory build means thinking like a woodpecker. That means knowing what trees to go to and how to find food. But even classroom work and high-tech gadgets still require boots on the ground and eyes in the woods. This project is supported by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission, the Nature Conservancy, the Arkansas Audubon Society, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and Cornell University, and it attracts talent from near and far. Millicent Phillips comes from just down the road. Well, this bird was thought to be extinct for many years. When I saw David Leno's video on the news, several years ago. I just knew I wanted to be here. I wanted to be down here and I wanted to see this bird for myself. I wanted to be able to see it. I wanted to be in its habitat. My first reaction is, there it is. I'm just gonna try to get a picture of it. Yeah, just give me a comfort. Nick Davis is a marine wildlife specialist from Scotland. He's looked for the bird in Cuba and will travel to Florida to help the search there. When this opportunity popped up, I couldn't really miss it. I've always got three or four months to spare over the winter, so when I got accepted, I was elated, and uh, I was booked on a flight the next day. If we don't find it, we've had a good go, you know, but uh, I'd love to think that this bird still exists in the southeast corner of the USA. But there's real hope here that 2007 will be the year that all doubts about this bird's existence are put to rest, and the job of studying and protecting the ivory-billed woodpecker will begin. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.